Where does a time traveler go to attend a religious service on Sunday morning? To the future. Happy Friday, my friends. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. I hope you are well tonight. I hope your weekend is getting off to a wonderful start. And uh, as always, thank you for joining me. <laughs> Commodore 64 tonight. Uh, we're going to play a variety of games. Uh, we're going to start with one. We've kind of played a lot of this, but... Uh, so uh, apologies if uh if you're if you're not as crazy about this game as I am, but uh, we're gonna start off with a little bit of Dino Eggs, uh, but I've got a whole bunch of things I'd like to try. Fingers crossed. I always have trouble with C sixty four, but uh, when it gets going and things start to work, it's it uh, there there are some just magical games to find. It's frequently worth it. Um, but let's start welcoming people in. We've got, uh, Pokemon's first in chat tonight. <laughs> Pleasure to have you here, my friend, and Dead Zergling close behind. Welcome into both of you. Uh, Lucent Jelly, thank you as always, and thank you for the coffee, Jelly. Um, Sir Punk's a lot, welcome in. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Jelly says, of course, they want to hear the past or speak. Exactly, Jelly. The the past or of the future. Oh, no. No, just no, Pokemon says, groan to that pun. <laughs> isn't it kind of, isn't it kind of groan to all puns around here? <laughs> Isn't that isn't that typically the quality? Um and Sir Rack of Lamb, welcome in, my good friend. Pleasure to have you here. Um, yes, Pokemons. I did it, Brownie. I did it. I sent you a clip in your DMs. I beat the Asylum de Demon in Dark Souls with the broken sword on my first attempt. Oh, I didn't get that detail of it. Uh thank you for sharing that with me. Let me uh let me find that link. I'll put it in the uh, chat for you. Oh, it's very loud. It's very loud. I didn't get that that was the uh, the first try. I was going to tell you, uh, I, I saw it right before the stream. Um, very well done. All right, my friends, there's the link if you want to watch our good uh, friend Pokemon's defeating the Asylum Demon with the Broken Sword. First try. Very well done. That is a challenge I don't expect Oliver attempt. <laughs> Now you just have to do uh now you just have to do Ornstein and Smo with uh with only the crossbow. <laughs> At communion the future church has presents for everyone, which turns out 
to just be right then. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> All right, let's uh let me see if I could start a, start a game. All right, good. Uh, I don't have any audio. That's uh. There we go. Uh oh. Um. Well. This is bad. My controller configuration isn't working. Um, we don't want that. Let me... Uh-oh, my audio is bad? I don't know how to fix that. How long has it been sounding bad for? Does it still? There may be no stream tonight. <laughs> I may have to take uh I may have to take the uh I may have to take the night off and work on my audio. It sounds better now? Okay. Thank goodness. I don't know I don't know what was I don't know what was up. All right, well, let me know if it starts to act up again. Oh, I got to start a fire. I for already forgot how to play the game. No. Oh, my goodness. That is a terrible place to have that fire, by the way. We'll see you later, uh, Pokemons. That was the best place I could possibly warp in. That, I, that actually completely made up for the terrible location of that fire. <laughs> Oddly enough. So this is currently the game that I point to as my favorite Commodore 64 game, uh, Dino Eggs. It's a, uh, um, well, this is bad. It's a uh, it's a very cool game where you just wander the screen and collect things and try to avoid the obstacles. Hey, Boat Ladder, welcome in. I hope you're doing well, my friend. Very happy that you're uh, able to catch us.
Thanks for having me. Anytime, anytime at all. Uh, I really hope I don't break anything. I'm going to bring the brightness up on the uh, game a bit. I think that is, was basically a perfect score for this, uh, for this screen. I, uh, I did get contaminated, but I don't think I lost anything from that, because I don't think I was carrying any eggs at the time. Whoa! That was close. No. All right, unlike that, I lost a whole bunch of eggs right there. Oh, gross. I have to walk all this way around just to get to this ladder because of the... What a bad place to warp in. Run. Spiders up there making me nervous. I'm very glad there's no fall damage in this game. If we get a bonus point for surviving the, our fire, if we let our fire, it looks like, if we let our fire burn all the way out, we get a bonus point. All right, let's go. No, double contaminated. Oh, I'm dead. Was for dinner tonight, Zergling asked, had a four egg omelet with salt and a ham, followed by a pound of steak. I had um I had fried chicken. 
I had fried chicken and fried fish. On um, our local chicken place, on Fridays, and Fridays only, they do fried fish. <laughs> fried chicken and fried fish. Would you say it was fried delish? It was pretty great. The uh, the chicken, or sorry, the fish was a little overcooked. But they didn't. Uh, they didn't destroy it or anything. Just. Uh... I would have given it just slightly less time in the uh, fryer. Oh, that's it. I don't know if this game has a finite number of levels. I would assume it does. Because things change with every level, but... I don't feel like I've ever come anywhere close to seeing the, uh, the end of it. That item there, that's like a spike thing, right here. I don't know what that is. Power gain. I have no clue what that means. No, I wanted to... I wanted to catch the dinosaur, not be contaminated by it. Uh-oh. Oh, thank goodness that snake's going the other way. And put us up top. No. All right, we just have to get out of here. So gain some power. I really, 
I really should try and figure out what that power gain is all about. Because uh, without knowing what it does, I am very likely wasting it. This is a hard dino to catch. Hey, we did really we did really well though. We got it. No. 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 Oh. Thank goodness. I thought that thing had me. I have no idea what that flying thing is supposed to be. Like, a dragonfly, perhaps? I guess that would be my best guess. I might just abandon that last egg. Yeah. I'll sacrifice, you know, I'll sacrifice the point. I forgot where the jump button was. The only button in the game. My mind just kind of shut down there. I disagree. I've tried to save that dinosaur. <sighs> oh no. Life is, uh, really tough sometimes. Things, you know, things in this game can just, some, just line up real badly outside of your favor. Hey, Dynamite, welcome in. Hope your weekend is off to a good start. can't say for certain, but I think we're going to do Batman and Robin again next week on 
Monday and or Wednesday. I think that I'm going to try it on the beginning of the stream a couple nights. So I won't be making as many attempts at it each night, but I'll do them kind of more, more regularly. Until I can get it beaten. I'm going to roll the dice and warp out early. I don't know what's under those two coconuts there. Minus three points. It's not bad. Oh no, I picked up eggs so I can't pick up the wood. I forgot you can put eggs down. No. No. Oh, that was horrible. I missed the jump and I got contaminated and I squashed the dinosaur all in one go. <laughs> like every everything that could go wrong did all at once. What I have for breakfast? Eggs and wood. That's all that's all there is to eat out here in the past. I really wish this dragonfly would go away. I'm having a very hard time preserving this dinosaur. <laughs> No, I'm going to devolve. No. I was a step away from the time portal. I think we have one more life. This is it. Uh, in Super Ghouls and Ghosts, I got to the boss. That's the final boss in the NES game. Gotta convince myself I can get there again and further. Right on. I mean, you're almost there so far as Loop 1 is concerned. There's, uh... Not much further to go. Please don't squish me. I hope this doesn't KO the dinosaur when I drop it. Thank goodness. I wasn't sure exactly how that was going to work. All of the bugs are gone. That was weird. I've never seen the stage. I've never seen the stage so clear of enemies. Why are all the bugs gone? I shouldn't be complaining, but Don't 
No! No, I was in the middle of saying don't drop on me. <sighs> oh. Hey, speaking of uh, super ghouls and ghosts, Trapnir, welcome in. Thank you for the raid. How did uh how did your run wind up? I had to uh You were on the next to last stage when I had to bounce. Yeah, we can hang out here a moment. Let me give a shout out to Hrafnir. Hrafnir's working on uh Working on Super Ghouls and Ghosts, trying to do a uh, legitimate two-loop victory for the first time. And was making great progress earlier tonight. Sure, I got the. I hope I got this typed correctly. <laughs> There's the uh, link. Uh, looks like the journey is ongoing. Got to the final stage, but the bracelet wasn't spawning. Um, I don't know why that would be. <laughs> I have to look and see what you were. Uh, I'd have to look and see what you were, what you were doing, and which uh, chests you were opening, and uh, perhaps which ones you were missing um, to comment. But then I don't know if I would want to comment because I shouldn't. Uh, I shouldn't spoil or backseat you either. So <laughs> I would have to be. Even if I did know, I would have to be careful. I think. Uh... I hope you enjoy the finale of Loop 2. I know me and Frowny did Zergling said. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's where the whole game is. The finale of the finale of Loop 2 is where is where everything gets wild. Everything gets impossible. <laughs> uh Got the dagger several times, got the scythe, the bows, none of them were the bracelet. Tried a few times with, without armor, but it didn't work. Um, I feel like there may be, I don't know, there, <laughs> when I read your sentence there, there could be something you don't know, and I don't know whether or not I should, whether or not you would want me to tell you. But based on based on the way that you've worded that, uh, I have no idea how the bracelet spawns. I don't mind spoilers. I just want to beat it at this point. Okay, so if any if anyone doesn't want super ghouls and ghosts, uh, a super ghouls and ghosts spoiler, <laughs> then you don't then you want then you're gonna want to tune out uh, for a moment. I'm gonna give you a chance to mute your audio or plug your ears and, and hum or something, but this is a, this is a fundamental mechanic of the game. You have to understand and able to beat it. <laughs> this is why I could never beat the game as a kid. So let that weigh in to whether or not you want to hear what I'm going to say, but like, I know Dynamut is working on the game and may or may not want this information. <laughs> and, uh, for anyone else out there, um, I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about how to, uh, I'm going to talk about how to, how to get the bracelet <laughs> and I'll, I'll give you two thumbs up in the little window here when I'm done talking about it. So, you know, when to unmute. So if you keep an eye, then, uh, you should see when it, when it's time, but, uh, spoilers are going to begin right now. <laughs> so to, to get the bracelet, 
uh, Hrafnir, you're going to have to open several chests on the last stage without taking any damage. You've got to have the gold armor. And what if you're on loop two and you're wearing gold armor, any chest that you open that would normally be a weapon will be the bracelet instead. So on, uh, on the last level of loop two, like... There's one, there's one chest at the very start of the level um, that should be a weapon. There are two chests right before the Red Devil that should be your two armor upgrades. There's one chest after the Red Devil um, on the platform that he's sitting on that should be your blue shield. And then um, any other chest after that should be the bracelet where i usually get it is in that room with the two birds on either side that uh that are the head of the boss from stage one there's a chest in there um and that's where i always pick the bracelet up you can get it there are two chests in the room with the ghosts but uh i i, I wouldn't want to get it in that room if i didn't have to <laughs> But that's uh, that's what you're gonna that's what you have to do. You gotta probably need to find some of those. I, I don't know if you found all of those treasure chests because when I watched you on loop one, you didn't open some of the ones that I mentioned that I mentioned. So, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure which all of which chests you know about. But if you get if you get the first four chests, right, the one in the bird room should be chest number five. If you get the first four chests, then that one should be the bracelet. Something weird can happen on stage on the on loop two on loop two though, or well on the last stage. It can probably happen on loop one as well. Sometimes sometimes when you when you die on the last stage the chest pattern gets messed up and I, I don't know exactly what causes it or or why but the chest pattern can get thrown off to where it becomes really difficult to find the bracelet um but you'll if you're getting if you're getting weapon armor armor shield bracelet like that should be the pattern um but if you get like weapon weapon armor weapon then the pattern's broken. It will fix. It will fix itself eventually if you keep playing, but it's annoying. I don't know if you can get the bracelet when the pattern's broken either. Uh, you missed that chest. The two chests with the ghost was always uh, a wizard in a bear trap. <laughs> The one on the left, well, actually, either of them. The the yeah the the chest in the uh, the chest in the uh, in the ghost room do the yeah they have a very high probability of being traps. I'll try again next week. All right, hopefully I can be there. <laughs> good luck, good luck, uh, good luck, Rafnir. All right, not going to talk about super ghouls and ghosts strategy for a while. Uh, hey, title, welcome in. Oh, hey, it's Mega Man. <laughs> you, the, the, what is this guy's name? Tim. Time, time traveler Tim does, does, uh, have a, uh, have a very Mega Man styled helmet. A stream Kyle, welcome in. <laughs> this is like talking about ghosts and goblins on the school playground from the kid that's the ghost and goblins wizard. <laughs> uh... Uh, 
All right, so we've got a uh, we've got a wheel and a camera inversion. We'll do both of those. before we get back into the game. We have a sip of coffee first too. It should be at an appropriate temperature finally. Oh my goodness, the cup is too full. I'm gonna spill it everywhere. The thing was, the thing was, when I was a kid talking about super ghouls and ghosts on the playground, first of all, no one would have had any idea what I was talking about because I'm the only person, me, I had a cousin who, who had that game, um, but we didn't live all that close together. Um, so far as like my immediate friends and the people I saw regularly, I was the only person I knew that had that game. <laughs> I never met any I never met anyone else who had it. Uh so I I would have just sounded like a raving lunatic to be talking about it. And uh secondly, I never understood. I never understood the bracelet, so I could never beat the game when I was a kid. <laughs> now I get it, Dynamut says. Like a French movie. Or, how to transmission repair manual? I don't get it. <laughs> uh, wasn't Home Improvement a video game in the Land of Dinosaurs too? I haven't played that game, but I know it's at least got a dinosaur-themed level. Brownie is so talented, I could never drink my coffee upside down. Hey, Aces, welcome in. <laughs> I have angered gravity. All right, let's uh, give it a spin. Oh, that was a weak spin. Jelly beans. Hey, that's good. It landed on the, the wheel on the wheel, the most interesting spot. And we get green is... Actually, not green. It is sriracha. What does the sriracha bean look like? It's the one that doesn't look like the other two. It's the plain red bean. Sriracha it is. Did it take very long to nail everything in my room down so it doesn't fall? <laughs> I used a... I used a hot glue gun. It took about 48 sticks. This is the one. This is like this is one of the most mild beans on the on the thing though. Whoa. Whoa, no it's not. What is wrong? What is going on? I think I got the wrong bean. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's crazy hot. Oh, my. Oh.
Yu-Gi-Oh had the mistranslated Jerry Beans, the uh, the anime, or on the actual cards. Oh, I was saying I have a better chance of understanding the things I mentioned sooner than the last stage. Get the bracelet advice, Dynamite says. Oh, no. <laughs> My goodness. I got the wrong... That... That looked like the Sriracha Bean, but I don't believe that that was one. I think that one was mispainted. <laughs> that was awful. I'm still, I'm still feeling it. That felt like the Carolina Reaper Bean. That was outrageous. Uh... That's what the beans resort to when I'm not drinking coffee. <laughs> Did you eat the candy buttons yet? Yes, yeah, sir, rack of lamb. I've had the candy buttons a couple times. They are horribly underwhelming. Like they are not they're they're no hotter than like a piece of like big red chewing gum. <laughs> they're just a very mild cinnamon candy, but they're supposed to get hotter as you work your way up the strip. So, we'll see. They're staying on the wheel. They're staying on the wheel. I eat them three. I eat a, a row at a time. So, we'll move up the strip somewhat quickly. <laughs> so, it's three at a time. But they're... Uh, at least on the end I started at, they're very weak. How are you with ginger heat? Um, I don't know. Probably okay. I'm not really crazy about the flavor of ginger. I'll drink a ginger ale from time to time, but like when I make a stir fry, I really don't like to have ginger in it. It's not a deal breaker if there's a little bit, but it's a flavor that quickly becomes too much uh, for me. Uh, I stopped by local bookshop and Barnes and Noble for specific physical copies of books today. Didn't have anything I was looking for, StatCat says. Sorry about that. It's been a very long time since I've been to a physical bookstore. And when I have, I don't know when the last time I bought something in a physical bookstore was. Local bookstore I had to you were after. That's something at least. Were there not like two hundred plus buttons? There's a there's a whole lot. There's a whole lot. It's gonna be on the wheel forever. But I'm eating them three at a time. Um the thing is it's double sided. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. What's 14 times 3? 30, 42? Um, times 2, 84. I think there are 84 buttons left. So not quite 200, but it's a lot. It's a lot when you're only eating them three at a time. Alright, let's try and play in chat. Oh, I just got to get out of here. The stage is clear. I could do two rows at a time. Nah, I'm just going to stick one, one row at a time. It would make things go faster, but... 
I don't know. There's a there's a nice orderliness that I uh, appreciate to just doing a row at a time. It's all right if some it's all right if some things on the wheel are a dud. <laughs> like I'm I'm okay with that. <laughs> The uh, the less the less exciting roles will make for, you know, will make the more exciting ones count count for more. Well, I'm dead. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. I keep getting contaminated. This is rough. Oh. I need my my time warp to not come in at suboptimal locations. As I've gotten older, spicy things have gotten less interesting, Stat Cat says. That's kind of a shame from my perspective. I, uh... I would not look forward to that. Don't squash me. Oh my goodness. That's, this game is so scary. This is a horror game. We're going to warp out. Oh, minus three. Still enjoy it, but not amped to eat it as before. Fair enough. I don't know if I've ever actually been all the way up to stage uh, eight. I know, I feel like I've been to stage seven before, but I don't think I've ever cleared it. So this is... Uh, this could be unexplored territory. It's hard to say for sure. Well, I don't know. Because it looks like... I feel like I've seen the nighttime background before. Somewhat convenient location. Uh oh. <laughs> well, that went terribly. There are too many spiders. Get the spiders out of here. I can't do anything. This game is mean.
get contaminated. Whatever you do, don't get contaminated. You gotta start a new fire. It's cool that you can build a new fire off the old one if you time it right. I really like that, uh, I really like that detail. Alright, we're out of here. Haven't bothered with white pepper or hot banana peppers lately. I might just be over spicy food, honestly, myself, Zergling says. That was different music. We might be in a final stage situation. I don't know. But that, that music was different. Oh no, my fire didn't work. Dino Mom is still attacking. You have to start you have to start multiple fires on this on this stage. Oh no, they changed the rules. I feel like the game is running slow. <laughs> All right, we have multiple fires. Oh no, that spider's gonna put the dinosaur into the flames. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. Oh no! Ah, oh. rip. Game over. We have another life. Uh oh. We I didn't know we had four lives. Nice. I was. I was fired. Literally. Uh, what's the plot of this game? I managed to come in near the end game. When a pro gamer like you hasn't gotten here before. Uh, I mean, all the levels are basically the same. Um, the idea is we are traveling to the past and we're collecting um, dinosaur eggs and hatchlings and bringing them to the future. Uh... I I actually just have to leave the cliff and just eat the point loss. Oh, uh, this is it. Alright, it caps at level 9, but it goes on forever at level 9. So this is the end. This is the end. Um, but it, it goes on forever now at this stage. That makes sense. That makes sense. I, uh, I'm actually happy with this uh, arrangement. So now it's just all about score. And now I'm dead. <laughs> Look, right here, it tells you, exploring the prehistoric past via time warp. You infect the dinosaurs with common measles, accidentally contaminating, uh, accidentally condemning them to extinction. Overcome with remorse, you devote yourself to rescuing the entire dinosaur population. You can do it, for you are Time Master Tim. 
Uh, using your time warp, you can find and carry the dino eggs and dino babies safely into the 21st century. The dinosaurs live again in our future. Thanks to you, Time Master Tim. <sighs> Do you love uh, some peppers and ground beef, Stat Cat says? Dino Mom implies the existence of Dino Dad and Dino Kid, so I think we've seen the Dino Kids. Uh, gone over the plot. Don't get me wrong, Zergling says. I never thought I'd get tired of spicy food, but I stopped having it. Lost my tolerance for it all. I decided to try without. Turns out, it's pretty good without. <laughs> My gaming survival instinct skips a heartbeat when you jump off a platform. <laughs> uh, you need to uh, you need to take the uh, the most convenient way down sometimes. When you're in a hurry, there's no time for climbing ladders. But I am I am actually surprised that that works. Um, I'm surprised there's not fall damage in the game. Uh, please stop sneezing on the dinosaurs, Tim. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a... The plot of the game is we're kind of trying to undo the butterfly effect, I think. Uh, the Samurai Jack theme stuck in my head, Aces says. I'm afraid I, uh, I'm afraid I don't know that one. Uh... The far future of the 21st century, precisely. <laughs> it's like all of those, it's like all those futuristic movies made in the 80s that are set in the far off year of 1999. <laughs> hey Dugan, welcome in. Welcome to, uh, well, the end of Dino Eggs. We're actually going to move on to a different game. Maybe you just got good at cooking that you don't need spices. <laughs> Uh, who turned that frown upside down? Welcome in, Tommy. Great to have you here. That would be the doing of Stack Cat, and uh, it's actually uh, worn off. We need to. Uh... Let gravity reassert itself. That should do it. Haul me off to gravity jail. <laughs> no, my meat value. Uh, you, almost, you got almost double value for those. Well, you got like a 50% bump. I didn't flip immediately. Uh... Alright, let's, uh, let's try out a different game. Fingers crossed that it's going to work. This is also a game that we've played before. But this is a different file format. And I'm hoping... That it will play more completely. So this is uh this is Smash TV on the Commodore. <laughs> um how do I change my control option though? Press any key to start. That's not good. I think this works. Hello. 
Oh no, except I can't walk. Yeah, let me throw my lives away. I got every, uh... I gotta reset it. Just a moment. I didn't need to be on joystick one. I needed to be on joystick two. Isn't this the limited music Smash TV? I don't think it... Yeah, I don't think it's gonna have very much music. <clears throat> Outside of the uh, title screen here. Oh, your stream is such energy. <laughs> Thank you, Dugan. Uh, it always bummed me out that Samurai Jack never returned to his own time, Dynamite says. What is Smash TV? <laughs> Smash TV is a futuristic deathmatch game show. <laughs> Wonderful. This is actually... So the Commodore 64 game is kind of Smash TV on easy mode, as you're going to very quickly notice. <laughs> but, uh... I'm alright with that. I'm alright with that. I still think it's a ton of fun. Oh no! I died! So much for easy mode. <laughs> I really like this version of the game, though. It's not, you know, it's not, like, it's nowhere near as good as, like, the Super Nintendo version or anything. Don't get me wrong, but it's very admirable. It's very admirable that, the, uh, that they were able to do this on the C64. Don't forget to mention you can win toasters. You can, and VCRs. It's wonderful. It's also missing blood. I don't know if I don't know if any of the versions I've played have blood. I've never played the arcade version. I miss the uh, what I miss the most are the voice clips. It's called Smash TV, but it was never a TV show. Well, it will be in the in a dystopian future. Uh, I think it's uh, inspired. I think it's inspired by the movie The Running Man. If you've seen that. Whoa! No. I'm getting major slowdown all of a sudden. What what's going wrong? Everything was great. Now it's terrible. I've never had uh I've never had slowdown like this before on the C64 mini. This is this is new. 
and terrible. Maybe it's because I stood around for too long. Uh, gotta roam. We'll see you later. Oh. The SNES and the arcade version has blood? I never noticed it in the SNES. Or I haven't played it so long I've forgotten it. It's because I called it easy mode. Oh, I'm heartbroken. I'm heartbroken. C64 Mini, you let me down. So we we have played this before, and it actually went really well. It didn't do all this the last time we played it. Um, the problem that I had, the problem that I had last time was I was playing it in a tape format, which. Um, I couldn't get to the end of the game, and I don't know if it's because the game loops on the C64 and has no ending, or if it was a problem with the format, so I thought playing it in a different format, this is a cartridge format file, would uh, maybe eliminate some of those problems, but, the, but it has a whole new set of problems in that it freezes up and becomes unplayable. So, The game only has so many, so much memory dedicated to bullets, and you used it all up. Alright, well this is, uh, this, I'm gonna have to abandon this game. This is, uh, this is unplayable. That's a shame. That's a shame. I wanted this to. I was hoping this would work better, but it works so much worse. So uh, we'll try out. Uh, we'll try out something different. I've got to see what Mutoid Man looks like in this. I can't make it that far, Dynamite. I'm gonna let you down. I feel like he didn't look all that bad. All right. Well, that's a that's a shame. So I've got a couple different games again, like fingers crossed here because they're games I've tried to play before. They're games I've tried to play before in other formats that were problematic in one way or another. And uh, they're not necessarily going to work just because I've changed format type. Let's see if this one is any good. I'm afraid it's going to have similar problems. So let's see if let's see if Turrican will work. Again, fingers crossed. Alright, uh we're off to a bad start. 
Press fire to start. All right. Hang on. This game looks very stretched out. Let me change uh, my controller port. My controller wasn't working. That's a bop. At least we can enjoy the music. Did you play Rags to Riches? I did. I did, Stat Cat. Um, we had we played it once. I would like to play that one again. That game was actually really fun. My first time playing it, like, was kind of a perfect story. <laughs> Because eventually I figured out how the game worked, and I I was making a ton of progress, and uh, I was uh, I had a I had a I had a huge amount of money saved up, and I was just about to move into the luxury apartment, and on my way there, and on the way there, the man from the IRS ran into me, stole all my money, and I died penniless on the street. <laughs> I died of starvation. <laughs> uh, this is a Technicolor nightmare. <laughs> Welcome in, Derek Ocean. Hope you're doing well tonight. You enjoy suffering? Can we see your least favorite C64 game? Um, I don't really have one that I hate yet. Alright, let's see if this one works. I, I, I'm not, I've, I have some doubts. I think this one doesn't work either. I think we're crashed. Nothing's doing anything. Turrican, the iconic series very few people remember. I played Super Turrican on the SNES. That's my only experience with it so far. I've tried to play I've tried to play this one on the C64 a few times. I can't get it to work on the mini though. Still can't get it to work unfortunately. It would seem. Oh. That's disappointing. I really wanted to check I really want to check this one out. Well, so much for that one. That's why I titled my stream Fingers Crossed. I need uh, luck to be on my side, and uh, so far it's not. Mega Turrican on the Genesis is great. Super Turrican 2 on the SNES is incredible, Dynamut says. I'd like to give them a try. I'm afraid... Well, I don't know about Super Turrican 2, but the Mega Turrican on the Genesis is super expensive, unfortunately. <sighs> I don't want to keep picking games that are not going to work.
If you, if you see that arrow in the upper right hand corner, I have a bad feeling that anytime I see that arrow, it's an indication that the game is not going to work. This is probably a Joyport 2 game. I didn't know it was how late of a game it was. Ah, uh, Derek says it's okay. Work, uh, work was slow for a Friday. Ah, uh, yep, it's another one that's not gonna work. Picked up Pikmin 1 and 2 physical for the Switch today. Oh, nice. Might have to try and scoop up a copy of that for myself. As the big Pikmin fan that I am. Nothing. It does nothing. I can't get it past the title screen. Oh. I don't think anything else is going to work. I think every everything I've grabbed is uh, going to treat me badly now. This has become less um, about uh, playing C64 games and just a, a sort of meaningless look at, at what C64 games exist without being able to play any of them. Joy port. That looked a little more promising, though. music is maybe not great it's very dramatic and I don't know if this is supposed to be music or not the droning effect alright so this is better than um, examine processing found nothing all right this is better than this game has ever worked for me the, this is very promising oh. I don't know what I'm looking for though I've never actually played this before They made a short circuit game. They did. They did. Oh, no. No. It was promising. <laughs> Nothing I play works.
Nothing is wrong here working as intended. Well, there's, there's nothing else I can do. Oh. This, uh, it's, uh, it's becoming a very bad night. Yeah, the C in C64 stands for cursed. hard to recommend the C64 Mini. Its uh, emulation doesn't seem to be compatible with anything. 